So your name's Lee Schaefer? Correct. And you're in the Navy? Yes. And were you drafted or did you enlist? 17. You're 17, you're drafted? No, I went you, in. I you enlisted. I volunteered when I was 17. <laughs> and what year was that? 1943. And were you immediately assigned to a, a ship? Yes, I was. And what was the ship's name? Uh, that was the USS RP Larry DD-664. And uh, we trained in Norfolk, Virginia for it, went to Boston to pick up the ship. I got hurt in a training accident. And so I was in the hospital after surgery when the ship left. So an egg ship was this, this minefleeter. The USS Conquer? Conquer. Yeah, after 6,000 ships, I figured I'm going to carry it out of my cap because it's the only ship called Conquer. <laughs> awesome. What kind of ship was it? Minesweeper. Wow, was that a little scary? Hard work. Very hard work. Where'd you deploy to? We were keeping the German subs away from the Panama Canal. It was one of those backwater jobs. But see, all of our capital ships were built on the east coast. If they could have closed the canal, it would have been terrible. And the uh, Caribbean Gulf was very shallow water. So we knew where the deep the deep places were, and the submarines knew where the deep places were, too. How many mines did you actually sweep? Were you see a lot of mines? No. They, they, uh, they actually started laying off a little bit because we were just outnumbering them. We weren't the only mine sweeper down there. But if they could have closed the canal, though, it would have been really bad because every capital ship would have had one clear around South America then. And out on the deep water, they were more likely that the subs would be waiting on them out there. How would you go about destroying the mines? Gunfire. With what kind of gun? I had twin 50 caliber Brannings that was and aircraft guns. But that was the best best thing. So w you would spot them well, some through of them, the water? Yeah. Well, the, the Germans had the old-fashioned mortar mine and we would cut their cables in the explosive service. But then they also had magnetic mines, which counted the magnetism of ships. And uh, they, they were all set. They let so many ships go by. And then, like they were set to rise up and sink the fifth ship. And then they came out with the acoustic mine, which would it counted propeller noises. Same thing. They'd rise up and hit the ship. And even though I wasn't there, we knew all about it later. If Hitler hadn't put all of his money and time into the bomber to bomb this country, I've seen photos of it. They had a new mine that was taking our minesweepers in Normandy, and we didn't know what was causing it. And Normandy would have been a disaster if Hitler it said he let them put a few they're called uh, pressure mines and they're only for shallow water and a ship going over creates a down force and these pressure mines if the force was enough then they'd rise up and uh, kaboom and we were actually losing mine sweepers so we had no idea even though I wasn't there you get the stories so you, you didn't have a good way to defend against the pressure mine we didn't even know what was causing this Mine sweepers were blown up, and they had no idea. But as history, then, uh, I've seen pictures of pressure mines in the German Museum on the internet, and uh, they 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 were really bad. But Hitler, then, he had this big bomber. I saw photos of it afterwards. Big four-engine bombers that he was going to bomb New York with and Philadelphia and all that. And you only let them make so many of these. And now that's another God-given thing. <laughs> What's your most memorable moment in the service? Oh boy. No, it wasn't. It was just awfully hard work. And, and we had no problems, you know, or no anything. It, it, 
that the neighbors are short-handed right there, and they wanted the kids. They wanted to see. Three-fourths of the seamen on my ship was uh, 17 and 18. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How many people are on the minesweeper? This one, they were so short-handed. This one had 18, I think. On. 18 people? 18. How long was the ship? About 120 feet long. They had to be little ships to get in these tight places. Now, we did have destroyer line sweepers, but they were out in the deep water. But AMC means auxiliary mine coastal. And our draft was only about eight feet. But we were made out of wood. It was a wood bow? If you let that out, you would be in the brig. And in the first Gulf War, I saw on TV they were launching a new minesweeper on the east coast here, going over for the first Gulf War. And they said, oh, by the way, it's made out of wood. So they're still making them out of wood. Wow. <laughs> they must be good then. Yeah. But, uh, no, there wasn't any memorable moments. It was just a lot of hard work. Did you ever have any close calls with the mine? No. How many mines did you blow up? I really can't say. Was it a lot? Didn't or keep, No. Because by then, see, we had two or three minesweepers down there. And by then, the Germans saw it was a losing battle for them. Because we knew where the, they could get in close to the canal. Because of the rest of that, uh, up by New Orleans, the water's deep. And the entrance to the canal is deep. But the rest of it, in fact, last time I flew over it about 10 years ago, right in the middle is two uh, uh, Liberty ships still grounded from World War II. The water's too shallow, shallow in it. Yeah. So no, we didn't have any exciting thing. We just had a lot of hard work. <laughs> well, Lee, thank you very much for your time. Well, I hope I could tell you more, but. <laughs> yeah, it's a 